So what is going on guys, this is Ryan here and welcome to the Stanley Parable. So this is the next game I'm going to be checking out guys. I saw a shed ton of comments at the end of my inside let's play and loads of you wanted to see me check this game out. Wait, hold up a sec. Before we start this, what the freak is going on? Hold up, zoom into that monitor. Wait, I'm here to zoom in again? Uh, wait, what? Okay. Let's get on with this. I know this is another older game, guys, so definitely leave me a like crane if you want to see more. I want to judge based on that how many episodes on this you guys want to see. And another thing before we get started, I've actually never seen any gameplay on this game before. No! This here we is go. the story of a man named Stanley. Oh, dang, I'll listen to Stanley's story in this voice. Stanley Goodness. worked for a company in a big building where he was employee number 427. Oh, I'm going to like this. Employee number 427's job was simple. He sat at his desk in room 427 Encoded? and he pushed buttons on a keyboard. What Orders a complex came job. Came through a monitor on his desk. Fantastic. What buttons to push. A bit, a little bit abnormal. And in Great. Order. This is what employee 427 did every day, every month, wow. every year. Even on Christmas? Stanley relished every moment that the orders came. Are you sure about that? Though he had been you sure about that? For this job, Mate. Stanley was happy. I'm sure he was. Definitely not an artificial smile, you know. And one day, yeah. something very peculiar happened. He became something unhappy. Something that would forever change Stanley. Ooh. Something he would never quite forget. Mm. He had been at his desk for nearly an hour when he realized that not one single order had arrived on the monitor for him to follow. That's perplexing. No showed up to give him instructions, call a meeting, mm. or even say hi. Never in all his years at the company had this happened. This complete isolation. We're in. Something Here was we go. very clearly wrong. Oh Shot, boy. frozen oh boy. solid, Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. But as he came to his wits and regained his senses, he got up from his desk we go. and stepped out of his office. Oh my gosh, I see how this is going to roll out. Mm, this game is going to be good. So Stanley got up and walked out of his office. Let me just check around my office first. Can't interact with anything. I guess we're going to exit our office, like the guy said. I guess we're following a story. Were gone. Who? What Hello? Could mean? What could Stanley it mean? One computer's on right here. Perhaps he off. simply missed a memo. Perhaps, perhaps not. Let me check around this place. Like, we're working here. Something's not right, okay? We've got to try and piece this together. Hey, 430? You, you in there? Oh, Hello? Ooh. Are you really just doing this for the achievement? What the Click heck? A door Wait, what? Five times. Is that all that you think an achievement is worth? Okay, no, let's no. try this. No, no. Hold up, hold I up, hold up. Uh -uh. <laughs> a measly five clicks. What the heck? Now, this is so cool. If you were to click the door 20 times, I would say that's the kind of effort that warrants recognition. We're doing it. And here we go. The long haul. Mm. Okay. I Keep going. say, I'm still not mm -hmm. feeling the satisfaction of witnessing My gosh. true effort for This is amazing. Wars. Perhaps 50 clicks will do it. <laughs> what yes, the heck, dude? Certainly 50 clicks. Okay, that's a lot of clicks so far for me. Hey, Mr. Well, announcer, well, how many is that? I'm still not feeling it. I, I want this achievement to have do. meant something. It has to be a, come a on, true let's reward go. for valiant uh -huh. effort. I want to see uh -huh. some hustle, mm -hmm. Stanley. Listen to that music in the back, come on. The willingness to go all the way, no matter what the cost. I'm me, I'm me. What, what? 20 clicks into door number 417. 417. <laughs> 20 clicks in door 417. Is, is this even something I'm meant to be doing right now? Like, I don't even know what's happening. 417. All right, here we go. Let's do this. 20 clicks, he said. Let's see. Oh, great. Now, go click a few times on door 437. <laughs> oh my god, dude. 437. Uh, my dude. Oh, there it is. Excellent. Let's do this. Mm -hmm. I think we're getting somewhere. Now, great. door 415. Let's give it 10 oh, clicks or so. About 10 now, there? back to door number 437. Bro, what the? Listen, is, it a, is he giving me an achievement? Oh no, what the freak is going on? Let's see. How mm -hmm. about you click on, well, I don't know, the uh, copy machine. The copy machine? Where the freak's that at? Uh -huh. All right. Back to room 417. I'm really feeling it now. I think we're getting somewhere. Got okay. it. Okay. Now go climb on employee 419's desk. Yes. Yeah. This is great. You're putting it all on the line, Stanley. I like that. All right. <laughs> Thanks. Let's keep it up. Go R give me a few clicks what on door 416. Going on? Let's do we this. We almost Woo! got it. Now what are we going to do? Copy machine. Do that one again. Copy machine. Let's go. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Finish it off, Stanley. Come on. Five let's go. Five clicks on door 430. 430. Five clicks, let's do this! Yes. Yeah, boy! We did it! Oh, wow!
That fell amazing. Yes, it did. Oh, you really earned it, Stan. Oh, I'm invigorating, Nothing guys. You back. Yes, this I'm game is beautiful. How far we've come today. Just oh, we're doing great. Only a few minutes ago, you believed an achievement was worth five little clicks. That's really true. Now, what wow. were you thinking? I guess self-worth. That's very true. Uh, uh, three. So here we go. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors. He uh -huh. entered the door on his left. This one here? Oh my gosh, Scars. Why would they give you the option? How am I feeling this run? You know what? Let's abide by what this dude's saying. Let's go for the door on the left. All right. So what do we see? 413. Uh, not sure if we can enter this room. Door is locked. That's interesting. 412. No one there. This door here, like a janitor's office. Again, nothing. This is kind of interesting. Looks like there's nowhere we can really Yet access. Yes, there was not a meeting single room. person here either. Huh. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley uh -huh. decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping mm -hmm. he might find an answer there. I feel like I need to check around everywhere. I reckon, guys, there's going to be some small, subtle things hidden that perhaps as we play through this more and more will make more sense as time goes on. Not seeing anything immediately, but this is in relation to this floor. Everyone is unique, you most of all. Oh, great stuff. All right. Are we truly unique? Because it was going on about that we were created for the sake of, like, weird stuff. Stanley we're in a broom closet. Into the broom closet. Yes, we did. There was nothing here. So he really? turned around and got back on track. Hold up, there's a broom in here. I want this. I feel like this announcer's trying to cover there something up. Here. See ya? No choice to make. No Look at this. To follow. I Just don't believe him. Empty broom closet. I don't believe him. No reason to still be here. <laughs> this is fantastic, guys. There's gotta be something though. It what is hidden in here? That Stanley was still just See? In the broom closet. There's something going he wasn't on here. Doing anything. I love this. At least if there was something to interact with, he'd be justified in some way. There's and something is, in here. Just standing there there's gotta be. FA. What about this down here? No, nothing. Okay, let me keep clicking about. Are you, nothing. Are you really still in the room, <laughs> We really are. Nothing. I think there's going to be some explanation here. here. I'm, I'm genuinely confused. There's something in here. Perhaps it's an item we could have collected before. Uh -huh. All right, Come now we're going to head out into here. Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. We could office. go down. This is crazy how many different routes we could go. So we could go through the left door and down. I want to keep going this way, though. Let me check this door here. And looks like it's locked. Our boss's office must be through. Of course, look at the decor, dude. Like, everything changed on this floor right here. Yo, boss, where the freak's everyone at? Uh, including yourself. Office, huh? Stanley was once again stunned to discover yeah. not an indication of any human Buttons life. Right here. Ooh. Shocked, unraveled, Stanley mm -hmm. wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this. What dark secret was being held from him? What is what going on? Not have known Seriously? Was that the keypad behind the boss's desk this here? guarded the terrible truth that his boss had been keeping from him? Are you and so serious? The boss had assigned it an extra secret pin number that we can Two, definitely discover. Eight, four, five. Oh, but of course, really? Stanley couldn't possibly have known this. Well, um, about that. Uh. What was I saying Incredibly, again? Yeah. By simply pushing random buttons on the keypad, the freak Stanley has got whoa! To input the oh. correct code. Like a lockdown? Luck. I don't think so. <laughs> he stepped into the wow. newly opened passageway. What the freak? Yeah. I feel like, guys, there was another way we could have gone here. Like we could have gone back on ourselves there. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. Ooh, okay, lots of washing right. What the freak? Boss, like, we need to have a discussion when people are back in, okay? This is meant to be inaccessible, um, but for some reason, we've been able to access it quite clearly. And really, what it's amassing to is something I have, I have absolutely no idea. Descending deeper into the building, uh -huh. Stanley realized he felt a bit peculiar. For sure. There was a stirring of emotion in his chest. What the freak is that? He felt more, more free layers? to think for himself, to question the nature of his job. I mean, I guess Why we are kind of doing stuff we should be doing. When for years it had never occurred to him, this question would not go unanswered for long. Interesting. So we're going to figure out whatever is going on here. I just love how the atmosphere Stanley has changed right now. Ahead through the large Mike? door that read what? Mind Control Facility. What? It's a people through there? I don't think so, actually. No, no, no. There's no people. Mind Control Facility? So, wait, hold up. What is this? There's one desk here for one single person. Do we press the button? The lights yes, we... rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. Whoa, what oh my goodness. What did this place hold? Stanley Good question. Yeah, like, serious? have the strength to find what? out? I hope so. I'm very intrigued right now. What is going on? More desks. Right in here, there's four. We've got a surveillance one and three other desks. Can't interact with any of the desks, so let's turn the surveillance system now on. The monitors jumped Whoa! The their true nature revealed. Okay. Bore the number okay. Of the in the I building. see. Stanley's I see. Co-workers. Wow. The lives of so many individuals reduced Whoa. to images on a screen. That's and crazy. One of them eternally monitored in this place where freedom meant nothing. By who? Like, who's monitoring all these? When the game started out, we received instructions from a camera system, right? 
And it's interesting as well that there's like a row which keeps bleeping red, or at least it did. Like, check this out, guys, okay? When the camera system pulses again, watch what happens to everything. There seems to be like a red line that pulses through one of the rows. And oddly enough, it didn't do it this time. Oh, there it was. It did it. I wonder if we can access employee 001 or employee blank. There's a blank one up there. So you see, I'm having all these things already, guys. I want to try and this find these doors. Yep. That's what it's called. It couldn't be true. Oh, it's dude. Have you been under someone's control all this time? If he was receiving instructions, I think so. Like, job, that his maybe? Had been manipulated to accept it blindly. Perhaps, you know, perhaps indeed. No. He really? To believe it. A, he a pirate employee? His a freak? Life in someone else's control? Uh -huh. Never. Yeah. <laughs> it was unthinkable, wasn't it? Oh, I bet. Was Why did you imagine so? Had like, he truly spent his entire life utterly blind to the world maybe this game is so crazy like the, roof, the heart of the operation oh, control offline labeled with emotion that's why happy or sad or content walking eating uh -huh. working all of it monitored and commanded from this very place Whoa. and as the cold reality of his past Can't began this. to sink in Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life. Dang. For he would dismantle the controls once and for all. I think it's up there then. All right, let's take a look at this then. This game revealed itself so quickly in the storyline. So we have a number four. All right, let's press it. Um, hold up. Let me check that again. It's making different sounds. So number four, when we press that, it doesn't seem to really do anything at all. Now that leaves the question as to why and what is that actually trying to signify? There's more buttons around. Hold on, let me try this. So number one, okay. We press number one. Let me press number two. I don't know, the sound is not convincing. Check this out, guys. If I press one first, then I go over and press two. It doesn't sound right. It sounds like there's a mistake because that singularly beeps. Oh no, it doesn't. That one beeped three times then, what the heck? Number three is over here. Let me press this. Uh, still nothing. Then there's a number five just over here. One to five are the numbers that we can access throughout. Facility power. Let's go through here. We can always come back to this afterwards, I think. I guess the doors may shut. But let me just see. Mind controls idle awaiting input. What the heck? System power off or on? And when at last he we found get a choice? the source of the room's power, uh -huh. he knew it was his duty, his obligation, turn it on. to put an end to this horrible turn it place off. and to everything it stood for. Do we turn it off? Is that what we do? Okay, off! What did we do? Um, hello? Did we do good? Did we die? What the freak's happening? What's this? It's like some music? What is going on, dude? This is a really unique Blackness experience. And a rising chill of uncertainty. Was it over? Was it? Good point. Wow. Yes. It was over? He had won. He had defeated the machine. Unshackled himself from someone else's command. Freedom like was mere opening, moments away. Uh huh. And yet, it is. Even as the immense door slowly opened, Stanley reflected the birds and everything. on how many puzzles still lay unsolved. Yeah. When oh yeah, he did. When his co gone, how mm -hmm. had he been freed from the machine's grasp? What other mysteries did this Good strange building hold? Good questions. Good questions indeed. as sunlight streamed into the chamber, he realized uh -huh. none of this mattered to him. <laughs> he just wants to leave. even power that he had been seeking. But wow. Literally, we're just outside right there. Look at this. Whoa, where is this big machine? No longer huh. would anyone tell him where to go, what to do, or how wow, to Wow, here we go. Whatever life mm -hmm. he lives, it will be. Oh yeah. And that was all he needed to know. Wow, that's captivating. The only thing worth knowing. Stanley stepped through the open door. He did. I wonder if we could potentially not step through the open door? Hold up, hold up, hold up. Uh, Mr. Announcer, I haven't stepped through the door. In fact, I'm backing away from the open door, back into the facility. What's he gonna say about that? Anything? Or nothing? Bruh. I guess nothing. It's time we exit this place. I w oh, Stanley I wanted to look back! Oh, upon his skin. dang. The feeling of liberation, the immense possibility of the new path before mm -hmm. him. Mm -hmm. This was we see exactly that. the way. Gorgeous. Right now, that things were meant to happen. Oh yeah, and don't and forget Stanley it. Stanley was happy. Ah, oh, that's excellent.
Wow, that was so cool. That was such a unique experience. That was so enjoyable as well. Like, that's it. literally, that is how we beat the game. But it's the puzzles that underlie within this that we need to explore, which make it so captivating. Stanley was in such a rush to get through the story as quickly as possible, he didn't even have a single minute to just let the narrator <laughs> talk. That kind of anxiety is That is healthy. amazing. So he relaxed for a few what? moments with some calming new age music. What? Oh my God. <laughs> Guys, I was trying to get to the end again because I wanted to put the mind control machine to on and see what happens. And this, I'm trying like, I'm trying to get this done. Like, come on now. <gasps> Wait, what? How did I miss that? I was so focused before. Okay, where do we go? Where do we go? Let's do it. Escape. This is totally unique. Although I did not see this, this one coming. Had the word escape written uh huh. Out, the truth yep. was that at the end of this hall, Stanley right. would meet his violent death. Why am I still walking then? Like you know, why am I doing the door this? Behind him was not shut. Okay. Stanley still had every opportunity to turn around and get back on track. That he did. Although someone labeled it escape. Are the co-workers in on this? At this point, Stanley was making a conscious, concerted effort <laughs> to walk forward. Yes, he was. May confront his death. Mm-hmm. For some reason. Oh, is this like a planned death? There's a big drop here, so uh, we're gonna go down it and see if it was true. And quite literally, uh, hold up. Oh, hold up. Ah, what the freak? Are we good? Um. Whoa. As the machine whirred into motion, uh -huh. Stanley was inched closer and closer to his demise. Oh gosh. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's uh, let's press buttons. Let's let's try and get out of this. Come on, out. Why are you so calm? Picture. He doesn't know the real story. Uh, Camped yep. Forever in his narrow vision. Of uh huh. Are you kidding me? This is freaking dark. I don't want to go between the things. Please, announcer. Willingly accepted this violent end. Oh boy. Oh boy, here's the show. Mm -hmm. And this is it. This is how we end. And here we go. Yep. Oh. Farewell, Stanley. Who the freak is? Narrator, as Stanley was led helplessly into the enormous metal the freak. drawers. A narrator In on a, a narrator. In a visceral instant, Stanley was obliterated as the machine crushed every bone oh, so we did in his die. body. So we did get us. Instantly. Okay, so, uh, like an over... <laughs> What is happening? What is happening? What the freak is happening? And yet it would be just a few what? minutes before Stanley would restart the game back what? in his office as alive as ever. What? what exactly did the narrator think he was going to accomplish? Where am I? Every path you can walk has been created for you what? long in advance. It's room zero zero one. Becomes meaningless, making oh my gosh, the is same. this the path that we walk? Do you see now? Do you freak? see that Stanley was already dead from the moment he hit start? Guys, I can't deal with this. Can we go in these? So, uh, the office? Let me try this door. Are they all shut? I feel like I should try at least all of them for some reason. They're all locked. The buttons. Button sounds. It's basically saying the buttons pressed make different noises. That's literally it. Filing cabinets. Office computers. I'm gonna turn all these off. Don't know why. What's to the right here? Boss's office? The office clock? What is going on? This is like a museum of the game? Stanley's office. From left to right, the evolution of Stanley's office over time. Was first created in November 2011, the second March 2012, and third February 2013. So this was the initial one, second one, and third. Um, what does this have to do with anything? Alright, this has been fun, but let's proceed to go here, I guess. Oh, look at these two. How they wish to destroy one another. Huh? How they wish to control on off. one another. How they both wish to be free. Even the announcer? So the, what, is the announcer trapped? I turned it off. Can you see? No. Can you see how much they need one another? The announcer and me. No, perhaps not. Sometimes wow. these things cannot be seen. Oh, that was crazy. But listen to me. The heck? You We're still, still going, though. You can stop the program before they both fail. What? How? And press quit. Uh are you serious? So I can literally quit? There's no other way to beat this game. Someone Are you serious? I want to listen. Be walking someone else's path. What? Stop now and be your only true choice. It's like, do I want to do this or not? What? Time okay. For you. Okay. Okay. Right. If I stop now, I'm gonna do it. I quit. I quit. Begin the game. Did it? Did it work? Huh? Oh my God! Literally, it was telling me to quit the game to start again. Woo! This game is captivating. I'll give it that. Now, be your only true choice. This time, guys, I am not going to be escaping this. Let's set time choose for us, and there we go. Is that literally it? Did we just get squashed?
Is that the ending we chose? Anything more from the narrator? I mean, we're dead. You want to tell us that? You want to remind us how stupid we are for not escaping the game like last time when I did it right the first time? <gasps> Hello? So yeah, probably should have left it when I actually did escape, you know? Maybe that was the true objective here because this is the game right now and it is still running, guys. Look, you can start the game again. There it anyway, guys, that was the Stanley Parable, a very interesting game with multiple endings, more of which I can already see me wanting to attempt. What's beyond the right door if we go down the stairs instead of up to our boss's office? There's like another room, uh, like to the other side of the office. What about if we turn like the mind control on instead of off? There is a lot of jam packed into this experience. And honestly, guys, if you did enjoy this first video, I will most certainly be back for a part two to see what else we can uncover here. But if you guys did enjoy this video, why not drop me that like rating? And hey, if you're new around here, why not subscribe for more videos just like this one right here? I just realized I'm putting a black screen where I killed myself. Uh, so thank you so much for watching this video, guys. I of course hope you did enjoy, and I will of course see you on the next one.